Peace be upon you. In this video, we present a scientific miracle of the Holy Quran, the determination of the sex of an unborn human. The first study of male sperm took place in 1677 by Anthony Phillips van Leeuwenhoek, born 1632, died 1723. Since then, embryology has advanced. It is now confirmed that the determination of the sex of an unborn human more than eight weeks after conception, known as a fetus, is based on the nature of the male sperm and not the female egg cell. The sex of the child is determined by the sex chromosome of the sperm at the moment of fertilization. A male has an X chromosome and a Y chromosome, XY, while a female has two X chromosomes, XX. If the X chromosome of the male fuses with the X chromosome of the female, a female fetus, XX, is produced. However, if the Y chromosome of the male fuses with the X chromosome of the female, a male fetus, XY, is produced. This clearly indicates that the male's sperm determines the sex of the unborn baby. This scientific fact was declared by Allah Almighty in the Holy Quran more than 1400 years ago through the following verses. Chapter 75, verses 37 to 39. Was he not a drop of sperm emitted, in lowly form? Then did he become a leech-like clot, then did, Allah, make and fashion, him, in due proportion. And of him he made two sexes, male and female. As can be seen in this verse, the decision on the two sexes, male and female, happens after the creation of a human being through the drop of sperm. This clearly refers to the role of sperm in the determination of the sex. It is worth mentioning that the exact translation of the Arabic word used in this verse to describe the origin of man, is a drop of sperm coming from a male. Thank you for watching this video.